Hi, let's talk about the agenda and planning items in Team Leader. First of all, let's have a look here on the week view. Um, this obviously is a week view. You can check other people's agendas by going here and selecting uh, their names. You'll see that you will be guided to their agenda. There's also a month view to see how many tasks you have planned on a specific day. And there's also the week view to check if colleagues are available at a certain hour. You won't see any details here, but you can see what when they are busy. So the first way of planning is by simply clicking and dragging your cursor across the time frame. I'll go back to my own agenda here and I can simply click and drag. So I have a few options, schedule a new task, an existing task, so a to do which has already been created but not yet planned. I'll get back to that later and then schedule a meeting. So the main difference between these two, a task and a meeting, is a meeting will allow you to add colleagues, uh, external contacts, add a location. It will allow you to, allow you to write a meeting report. Um, so let's do that one first. I'll be asked to fill in a customer at Steam Leader, for example. I can link it to a deal. I'll link it to a rocket launch. I can add a type, a title, make this a kickoff meeting for example I can add a description it's not mandatory and then I can add the location so I'll take location of a company and I'll select steam leader it's at their place address will be filled in I can save that's it my meeting has been created we can still change some details I can add my colleague or I can add a external contact I click here select the contact and I can even send an invitation I can say standard invitation for example there's a mail template which is added here which I can still change in the settings we'll see how that uh, how that looks later on I can save this and I can invite this person if I click through next to travel distance I'll be uh, will go to Google Maps where the route will be calculated. So you see how long you'll be queuing up for. Use the map. There's other options. If I click the three dots here in the corner, I can repeat the meeting. So if this is a recurrent Monday morning meeting, for example, I could add it here, repeat every week, every two, three weeks, repeat monthly, yearly, and an end date. If I want to do that, I could do that here. I can still modify the meeting uh, data by clicking the pencil. At work order, I won't be getting deeper into that. Uh, there's other videos for that, uh, but do feel free to check out that video if that might be interesting to you because you can create work orders based on meetings. Now, at the bottom here, I also have the activities list and I can tag a colleague if I want. So for example, this might be a question or questions click add and then that user will receive a mail with your question with a link to this page on it okay let's go back to the calendar so I've created my meeting let's create a task I can schedule a new task I can add a customer again to steam leader here we go I can add a type this might be onboarding I have to give this a name. There's a red star here, which means it's a mandatory field. So preparation kickoff session, for example. That capital letter. There we go. 45 minutes. I can save and schedule. There we go. So this is a task. I can always simply change the time and date. If I click it, I go to the details of the task itself. Again, here I have the activities, which will allow me to tag a colleague, send them a mail. I can still change the properties of this task by clicking the pencil. I can also link this to a deal, rocket launch, for example. There we go. There's always a link to the deal. You have to see the deal here and whichever tasks and meetings or even calls are planned here. So if I go back, I can change the date and hour of my task. If I click through, I can mark it as done. I 
skip time tracking, I won't be getting deeper into time tracking. Another option you have when planning a task, let's plan one for tomorrow, schedule a new task, is the repeat function here. So this will allow you to add uh, recurrent tasks, basically. It's the same thing we've seen with the meetings, but with personal to-dos, your tasks. Meeting, that's obviously, you, you can invite people, colleagues, tasks, that's your to-do. So if you have to do something on a weekly basis, you might add every workday, you might add, for example, uh, empty mailbox, for example, every working day, and date, let's see, I'll plan this for the coming four weeks, or three weeks, save and schedule, and now these will be planned every working day, empty mailbox, for example. All right, so, I've just planned tasks via uh, the page here, via the calendar page. If I go to a company, I can do the exact same thing by clicking the plus sign here. And I have all these options as well. Plus I have the option to add a call. A call, that's exactly what it sounds. It's just a call. Uh, see if interested in our services, for example, call them that time assigned to I can always add another colleague here but I'll click save add it to my own agenda open calls are planned here all open tasks or meetings will also be shown here as we've seen with the deals for our uh, last customer if I go back to the calendar it's planned like so you can also just drag and drop this call here this will allow me to mark it as done and add a call outcome. So I can say it's a good call, not interested, other a voicemail, we can adapt these. But let's say if I select a voicemail, summary, voicemail, call later, save. And team leader will now ask me to add a follow-up action. So I can plan another call for next week, for example. Just set this on the 13th of October, uh, call back customer save continue so if I go back or go to my next week we see that the call has been planned here now you see that the call here is in light blue it's because it's been marked as done this one as well the color is lighter than the original one that's because it's done so every color turns pale if it is marked as done now you can also see for this meeting which is always shown in blue that the distance is shown on top so i added a location in this case uh, this was somewhere else so you can see the travel distance and team leader will calculate the time it will take to arrive at the location and uh, add that to the calendar as well so i had the meeting at nine uh, it's 107 kilometers that means we have to leave a little before eight ideally now if i go back to my meeting page I can also mark this one as done, just as I can mark the tasks and the calls as done. If I mark it as done, I have the option to add a report as well. If I do that and save, I'll be asked to write a report, a summary of our meeting, for example. Just leave it at that and save. Then I'll go to the company page, my contact page. If I click the files, We'll see the meeting report here. And a document has been generated with the details of our meeting. So everyone who was present, the actual summary, mail address, logo, meeting report. If you want, you could send this to the contact by clicking the mail icon here and you can send a mail with that document in uh, attachment. There we go. So. That's as far as planning goes via the calendar itself. Know that you can also plan via a company page. Just go there, click the plus sign. It's also possible. Another way to do it is to go to the calendar overview and click one of the items here. So task meeting and calls. If I click tasks, this is basically just uh, a list of all my tasks. You can sort this by colleague. So these are all the tasks linked to my colleague, Sam Dale. Um, you can also, if I go back, 
sort this by any column you'd like. So title, this will sort it uh, alphabetically. If I sort on due date, it will sort it chronologically. If you click the uh, little mark here, the little uh, wheel here, you can change the columns you see. Um, date added, for example, I'd like to see that. Save, then date added will be shown here. I can also sort by this. The same thing goes for the meetings. This is just a list of all meetings which have been planned for every worker or every call that has been planned. Now, if I go back to the task, I can also create a fixed filter. So segments here, there's some uh, standard segments made by me. So every uh, task is made by me. If I create a segment, I can uh, language, for example, I can add different rules to this segment to uh, see a specific list of tasks. Time spent, if you do time tracking title, and that's by work type equals night hours, for example. Night hours, and then I'll have a segment showing only the tasks which have night hours. There's also most of them, I can change the overview here as well. I have a total of 19 with a duration of 32 hours. Okay, now let's see what the settings can offer us. If we go to settings and then to calendar, you can add the work types I was talking to you about. I can modify the existing ones. I can add an external price, which I won't be getting deeper into uh, now. It's linked to time tracking. There's other videos for that. Show advanced options will allow you to change the color of uh, this task. If I go to call outcomes, I can add different call outcomes. I clicked voicemail before, and if I modify that one, we see that there's a follow-up action call link to that, which means that when your market is finished, the team leader will automatically ask you to plan a new call. So you can add your own call outcomes as well with follow-up action. That might be a task, a call, a meeting, or even a ticket if you have a Boost account. Meeting invitation templates, I showed you, you can invite external colleagues via the meeting page. You can modify those here or add multiple ones. There's variables here to automize the content of that mail. You can still, uh, you can still make changes when you actually send it. These are the preferences. You should activate this if you want to see the distances to the meetings. If not, you can just turn that off. That's it for me. If you have any more questions, uh, click the question mark here, support center, add a keyword here, tasks, for example, you'll have some articles which it surely can help you along. You go back. There's also the support team that is uh, ready to help you. Just click here. You can send them a question and they'll help you very fast. Good luck.